different fractions and this is actually a continuation of the module in uh, the first quarter week one and this is all about adding and subtracting similar fractions this is lesson two adding and subtracting the similar fractions and to add or subtract the similar fractions we need to find the least common denominator or LCD and then change the dissimilar fractions to similar fractions. Add or subtract the numerators and then copy the denominator and simplify or write the answer in lowest term if possible. Example 1. Add the following A. 3 tenths plus 2 fifths. So, we need to change this into a similar fraction and we actually have a video on this changing the similar fraction to similar fraction. You can check it out. And um, let's um, compare. The denominators here is 10 and 5. So, to get the LCD, we can start with the bigger um, denominator which is 10. Uh, supposed to be mag skip count lang tayo niyan, di ba? 10, 20, 30, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, di ba? Pero we can start with the bigger denominator. And the bigger denominator here is 10. You can check it out kung ang 10 ay pwede na ba sa 5. So, if you skip count with 5, 5, 10, diretso na, di ba? So, gagamitin natin LCD would be 10. And since... 10 na yung isang fraction, 3 tenths, as is na lang siya. So, yung 2 fifth, we need to change it, the denominator to 10. So, to change 5 to 10, kailangan mo siya times 2. Diba? So, times 2. And then, yung taas, times 2 din na 10. Right? But, in the module, uh, ginawa doon is, um, uh, pareho lang yung process dito. Okay? Kung tutuosin, so parang ano siya, parang binaligtad. So, ang 10 para makuha yung number na 2, okay, dinivide niya with 5. So, 10 divided by 5, and then, t times 2 sa taas. So, kung titignan, parang parang yun lang din. So, 2 t times 2, and then yung 5, ginawang 10. Okay, so, um, pareho man dito, or dun sa module, pareho lang yung process na yun, ha? Okay? Um, which, whichever is okay with you. Okay, uh, so this will just be 3 tenths plus 4 tenths and that is 7 tenths, right? So letter B, we have 4 7 plus 1 third. So LCD ng 7 or 4 7 and 1 third is 21. So start tayo with 7, 7, 14. Hindi pa pwede yung 14 sa 3 and then 21. So, 7, 14, 21, pwede na sa 3. And, uh, pinakamadali talaga nito, no, usually. Pero hindi sa lahat ng panahon na. You can just multiply the denominator. So, kung titignan mo, 7 times 3 is just 21. Okay? So, to change 7 to 21, the times natin siya with 3. And, kung ginawa mo sa baba, gagawin sa taas. So, times 3 mo rin yung 4. And then, yung 3 para magiging 21 times mo ng 7. And then, 7 then times 7 din sa taas. So, this is now changed to 12 over 21 plus 7 over 21. And the total is 19 over 21. Alright? So, to add or subtract mixed number naman ngayon with the similar fractions, okay, it says here align the mixed numbers vertically. Um, pero, it's, it need not be aligned actually lagi. Ka, you will uh, observe this in the next uh, examples. Pero, the best way is to align the mixed numbers vertically. So, align the mixed numbers vertically, then find the least common denominator, denominator or LCD change the dissimilar fractions to similar fractions kasi hindi nga hindi nga pwedeng i-add yung dissimilar fractions kasi magkaibang hugis yan eh magkaibang magkaibang sizes so dapat pare-pareho lahat so parang sa papel lang uh, dapat yung one whole 
ay hindi add sa one fourth kasi hindi sila magka magkasing laki. So dapat gagawin mo magkasing laki. So in numbers, it change mo lang yung dissimilar fraction to similar fractions. And then add or subtract the whole numbers muna. And then add or subtract na the similar fractions na. And then simplify or write the answer in lowest term if possible. So kung if it's in higher term, in lowest term mo siya. If it's in improper, gawin mo siyang mixed number. Alright? Let's have some examples. Okay, example 2. Give the sum of 3 and 4 ninths plus 7 and 5 18. So, arrange it vertically. So, you have there. And then plus 7 and 5 18. Tapos, um, supposed to be, i-add na natin yung whole number, di ba? Kaya lang, since it's dissimilar, okay, baguhin muna natin. So, the denominators here are 9 and 18. So, let's start with 18. Check natin. Kung ang 18 ba, pwede na ba sa 9? Pwede, di ba? Kasi dalawang 9 is 18. So, ang denominator natin dito would be 18. So, to make 9, 18, or to change 9 to 18, times 2 lang. So, kung i-times 2 yung 9, times 2 mo rin yung 4 sa taas. So, this is just equal to, okay, so yung 7 and 5 eighteenths as is na natin. Okay, so this is now 3 and 8 eighteenths and then i-add natin sa 7 and 5 eighteenths. So, there, sabi, unahin mo na ang whole number. So, 3 plus 7, that would be 10. And then, 8 plus 5, that would be 13. So, final answer natin is 10 and 13, 18. Now, hindi na natin kailangang reduce to lowest term yung 13, uh, 13, 18 kasi wala tayong pwedeng i-divide sa dalawa. So, walang GCF to na. GCF lang ng dalawa is just 1. And, um, you'll just have the same number na rin. 13, 18 din. Okay? So, final answer na natin yan. Alright, so let's subtract the following. So, ngayon subtraction naman. A, you have there 1 half minus 7 over 22. Okay. Ano ngayon ang gagamitin nating LCD? Now, check natin yung bigger denominator again. 22. Pwede na ba siya sa 2? Yes, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Aabot ka sa 22 niyan. So, yung 2 para magiging 22, i-times natin with 11. Yan. So, 22 times, uh, 2 times 11, it's already 22. So, kung ginawa mo sa buba, gagawin sa taas. 1 times 11 then Okay? And, um, pwede na natin baguhin. Okay? Ang similar fraction natin ngayon is 11 over 22 minus 7 over 22. So, 11, tandaan ha, yung taas lang, yung minus natin, and ito plus in fractions. So, 11 minus 7, that would be 4 over 22. Now, take note. Yung 4 at saka 22 are even numbers. So, ibig sabihin, pwede siyang i-divide with 2. Hindi pwede 4 kasi yung 22 ay hindi divisible by 4. So, yung GC uh, F nito, or the greatest common factors at dalawa, is just 2. So, divide natin with 2 ang 4, that would be 2. Divide natin yung 22 by 2, that would be 11. Ba? So, divide by 2, divide by 2, you have 2 over 11. Right? Now, let's have the next one. We have here 9, 12 minus 1, 6. So, ang denominator is 12 and 6. So, pwede na ba ang 6 sa 12? Yes. Dalawang, dalawang 6 lang yun. So, as is yung 9, 12. Okay? And then yung 1, 6 times natin sa 2 ang 6 para maging 12. And then yung taas times 2 then. Alright? So, we now have the similar fractions 9, 12 minus 2, 12 and that is just equal to 7, 12. And final answer na natin. Alright. We have here subtract the following. A. 3 and 7, 12 minus 2 and 3, 12. Alright. Ito na yung sinabi ko na kahit pa hindi mo i-arrange dahil similar fractions naman yan, diretso mo na. 
So, 3 minus 2, whole numbers ka na muna. So, 3 minus 2, that would be 1. And then, yung 7 minus 3, that would be 4, 12. Right? So, check ulit yung 4 at saka 12. Okay? Parehong even yan. So, sigurado pwedeng i-divide by 2. Kaya lang, 2 lang ba? Ano yung pinakamalaki na common sa dalawa? Di ba 4? Kasi 12 is it, uh, actually equal to 3 times 4. And then yung 4 is pwedeng 1 times 4. So, divisible siya by 4. So, divide natin by 4. Ang 4. And then, ang 12 divide by 4 then So, final answer natin would be 1 in 1 third. Right? So, letter B. You have there 5 and 2 fifth minus 3 and 1 third. Now, this time, meron tayong dissimilar fractions. So, kahit hindi siya sinulat vertically, pwedeng gawin. Okay? Pinakamadali lang kasi yung isulat mo siya in vertical. Okay? Kaya, kaya nandun siya sa um, instructions natin. Pero, kung sinulat mo siyang ganito at hindi mo siya binago, okay lang din as long as hindi ka nalilito. Okay? So, gawin natin similar yung dalawa, dalawang fractions. So, 5 and 3, ano bang pwedeng gamitin uh, LCD ng dalawa? So, skip count tayo. As I said before, simula tayo sa malaki. So, 5, hindi pwede sa 3. 10, hindi pwede sa 3. 15, pwede na sa 3. 15 ay tatlong lima, di ba? The times mo, mo lang yung dalawa eh. 5 times 3, 15 eh, di ba? So, gagamitin natin LCD is 15. So, 5 times 3, that would be uh, 15, and then 2 times 3, 15. Ba? So, times natin yung baba, times din ang ta taas with the same number. Right? Kung nalilito, balikan yung video natin on changing dissimilar fractions to similar fractions, ha? So, nandun lang din yun. And then, 3 para maging 15 times 5, and then times 5 din sa taas. So, changing it to similar fractions, we now have 5 and 6, 15, Minus 3 and 5, 15. So, pwede na natin i-minus. Tandaan na, hindi pwede mag-minus kung hindi pareho ang denominator. Hindi rin pwede mag-plus kung hindi pareho ang denominator. Kaya natin binabago. Okay? So, since pareho na ang denominators, go ahead na tayo with subtraction. So, 5 minus 3, that would be 2. And then, 6 minus 5 is just 1. So, final answer is 2 in 1, 15. Right? Letter C, we have four, uh, 14 and 3 elevens minus 7 and 7 eleven. Right now, sabi, we start with the whole number and then the fraction, di ba? So, check natin. 14 minus 7, supposed to be ang sagot is 7, di ba? Kaya lang, 3 minus 7, hindi po pwede. Dahil, mas maliit ang 3 kaysa sa 7. Now, since may kasama naman siyang 14, manghihiram tayo na ngayon ng isa galing sa 14. So, yung 14 gagawin natin 13. right? So, yung isang hiniram natin from 14 gawin natin fraction. And, a fraction which is equal to 1 na ang denominator ay 11 is 11 over 11. Diba? So, yung 11 over 11 idagdag natin sa 3 over 11. So, meron ka ng 14 over 11. So, yung 13 and 14 over 11, kung i-change mo siya, si-simplify mo siya, babalik lang din yan sa 14 and 3, 11. Okay? Humiram lang tayo ha, naghiram lang tayo sa 14. So, yung one whole fraction dyan is 11 over 11. Yung hiniram natin isa, dinagdag natin sa 3 over 11. So, you now have 13 and 14, 11 minus 7 and 7, 11. So, this time, pwede na siyang i-minus, ba? So, 13 minus 7, you have 6. And then, yung 14 minus 7, pwede na. Kasi mas malaki na yung nauna eh. So, 14 minus 7 ay 7 lang din. So, 7, 11. So, final answer natin is 6 and 7, 11. Alright? 